All right, today we're gonna to go over how to create a referral program in Beehive. So starting in your dashboard, you're gonna navigate over to the Grow tab. If you're on the Growth Plan, you'll have access to the Grow tab and the referral program. Here you have a basic overview of everything with the referral program. So seven of your readers have referrals, 24 people have been referred to your newsletter for an average of 3.43 referrals per subscriber who refers. Here's a basic overview of your different rewards. So Twitter shout out, stickers, coffee mug, fitted hat. Here you can see four people have gotten stickers, four people got a Twitter shout out. No one has more than 10 referrals to receive those other rewards. A basic overview of your list and how many people in your list have referred other people to the newsletter. And then a basic leaderboard showing you who your top readers are with respect to referrals. You can click in and visit their profile. You can see, you know, basic email related metrics, along with more specifically the referral program and the referrals that they have. It looks like this person has referred eight people in total. One has not confirmed their email. By default, referrals are double opt-in to reduce spam and make sure that the emails are legitimate. But it does look like seven of his referrals have opted in, which are reflected here and then again down here. Moving on to fulfillment. What the fulfillment tab is meant for is for you to keep track of who has achieved what milestones and rewards, what you still need to fulfill on your end, and just keep track of everything. So down here you see all of the different readers who have achieved these different rewards. Up here, action required. By default, once a reader achieves a milestone, they'll receive an automated email, which we'll go over in a second, acknowledging the fact that they have achieved a reward. So this person here has one referral. They have already received an email that they have achieved this milestone and are owed a Twitter shout out. Here you would manage it. This is again for you to acknowledge, okay, this person has achieved the one referral. Now I need to do my part and do the Twitter shout out. Once that's done, you can mark that as fulfilled. So you no longer need to keep track of that anymore. Down here, this person has received stickers or is owed stickers. If you're handling the physical shipment and fulfillment of stickers, this again is a tool for you to realize this person is owed stickers. And so it looks like their emails are legit. I'll go to the post office and send it today. Mark that as fulfilled. Moving on to the configure tab. This is where you're actually creating your rewards and milestones and everything associated with that. So here you can jump into stickers. You can see here three referrals to get stickers, the reward is stickers. Here you have additional options. So by default, when someone achieves three referrals, they'll receive an automated email. Because I am actually handling the shipping of stickers, we don't want to enable auto fulfill. Auto fulfill would be if the reward itself was included in the email, whether it's a link to a Discord channel or whatever else. But because I actually want to keep track of the inventory and fulfillment and manage that myself, we don't want to auto fulfill that. And then delay email until fulfilled. As you saw on the previous page, you're able to see who this person has referred. So for higher value items, you may not want them to receive that email acknowledging that they have achieved a milestone until you reviewed their referrals and made sure that they are legit. So those are the two options here. Here's the subject line of the email that the person gets once they hit their th third referral. Preview text, the actual content of the email, which you can preview here, and then also preview again in mobile. So this is what readers will receive by default once they have three referrals. What we're gonna do next is actually go back and add an additional reward. So you're gonna go to add milestone. We're gonna do 50 referrals. Here's when you choose which reward. We're actually gonna add a new one. So over here, you're gonna do Beehive Crew Neck, A Beehive Crew Neck Comfortable Sweater. The reward type, we're actually gonna do promo code to show you what that looks like. And then to choose the image, uh, let's go over here, add that, create. So because we chose promo codes, what that allows you to do is upload either a single promo code or you can bulk upload a bunch of promo codes. So each reader receives a unique one-time use promo code and there's plenty of plugins. So to show you what that looks like, 
jumping over here to our Shopify store, here's our two crewnecks that we offer. What we want to do is when they go to checkout, they enter a promo code for 100% off to receive this for free. We recommend two apps in Shopify. There's bulk discount code generator and bulk discounts. Jumping in here, what you wanna do is create a discount set. We'll do test. We'll create, let's do 100 codes percentage. You wanna do 100% to give them a free crew neck. And then we want to save that. That's gonna to go to my email. I already went ahead and downloaded that. What you're gonna do here is go into the manage promo codes. We want to do bulk upload, select file. Let's go to the downloads and here's that. Next, it is pulling in from the code column of the CSV. Here are some sample codes that it pulled and those are in fact the ones that we want to include with this reward. So all of these codes here will give the reader 100% off of our store to purchase a crew neck. And you can see the status not assigned once that once a reader has received an email with the code this will be updated so no one else can receive this code once you're running low on referral and promo codes you will receive an email notification that you're running low down here this is us creating the automated email congrats on your chronic sweater um thanks for sharing with 50 readers let's pull in some additional content over here so we have that and then let's add the image. That is huge, so let's go to resize, bring that down a bit, make it left aligned. And then what we wanna do here is we want to include the promo code in the email. So use promo code this. This right here is gonna pull in a unique promo code for each reader who receives this email. And then we're also going to add a button to redeem sweater. Uh, let's actually update the URL to shop.beehive.com. And now you can preview exactly what that will look like. So someone who has 50 referrals will receive this email. Looks something like this. They would click here, which would take them to the Shopify store. Here's the promo code that they wanna to use to redeem their free sweater. Jumping back over here, you'll now see that the crew neck is added as a milestone at 50 referrals. Going to the overview, you now see that's available. And so the next step is now to drop your referral code into your newsletter. So we'll head over to the right tab. This is our most recent post. We'll jump in here. So here's my newsletter. What I wanna do is I wanna add a referral section towards the bottom of my newsletter. So we'll go down here and you'll see this referral program. It's as simple as that, one click, and now you have this personalized referral card inserted into the newsletter. What that looks like, you can go over to preview, and you'll see by default, you have zero referrals. You're one away from receiving a Twitter shout out. You can go and visit different subscribers. So let's see what this looks like for this person. That person also has zero. This person has one referral, so it's dynamically updated to show that this person has one referral, and they're only two away from receiving stickers. Here's their uh, unique code to go to the website, which will be branded in your own style for them to be able to track their progress. Um, you can see what that looks like here. So this is their unique referral code. They have one referral. They have already received the Twitter shout out. They are two away from receiving stickers, nine away from a coffee mug, 24 from a fitted hat, and 49 away from that Beehive Crew Neck sweater that we just added. They can also see who they have already referred to the newsletter. Um, and then this is the URL that they want to share with others, which again is found both here and at the top of this page. And this is branded again to your style and aesthetic using your fonts and colors. And it is as simple as that. You just drop that in there, make sure everything looks good to go. Um, and delivery, we're sending to both. So you go ahead and publish this post. Now that it's published, you can go over to the inbox. So over here is a group inbox showing us for test purposes, all of the emails sent as part of that campaign. 
So here, this is being sent to test plus 12 at test.com. You scroll down, this is what they would see in their inbox. This reader actually has zero referrals. So you see this unique share, share section here. They can then share with the URL here, or they can jump here to look into, again, what we already saw. This is unique to them. It shows that they have zero referrals. Alternatively, we can jump down to test plus 11. So this is a different subscriber. And that same newsletter will show them here that they actually have seven referrals, which means they're only three away from that coffee mug. They would then click on this link. They can see again, look, they have seven referrals here. They've already got the stickers. They're three away from that coffee mug, 18 away from that fitted hat and 43 away from the crew neck sweater. And then here's their network of people that they have referred. They have these seven referred. This person still needs to opt in. They can copy this. And as a reader, I would be testreader at AOL.com. So this is me coming in as a referral. And you can see that reflected here on our page. So let's go back over to the grow tab. Test 11 is the reader. And here you see that testreader at AOL.com is pending because I just put my email in as the person being referred. I need to go into my inbox confirm that email prior to this being updated to confirmed. And we can actually go ahead and do that over here. So again, this is, I'm acting on, be, as, on behalf of three different people in this case. I am both the newsletter creator, I'm the person receiving the email, which is test plus 11 at test.com. And I am now test reader at AOL.com. So playing multiple different parts to show you how everything fits together. But this is the confirmation, this is the logo, this would be your logo. Um, and same with this would be the name of your newsletter. This person confirms their email, legitimizing that that is actually an active email that they have access to that inbox. You come over here, now this person has eight referrals, that is now confirmed. And if they were to do that two more times with two different readers, they will achieve 10 and they will get the automated email that they have received the coffee mug. All right, I know that was a lot, but we covered how to get started with your referral program, the overview and metrics that we provide, the ability to manage fulfillment, track the progress of your different readers, to create rewards, milestones, bulk upload promo codes, how simple it is to drop the referral section directly into the text editor, and then how it looks for all of your readers, and the different flexibility around all of the options there. If you have additional questions, don't hesitate to reach out. Go to support.beehive.com and file a support ticket and we'll get back to you as soon as we can.